All right, let's see what we got here. All right, we got two fans. It looks like we're going to have to pull the bottoms off of these. So let's... Um, we'll take a look at that. All right. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. So we have here... The Lenovo Legion Y545. And we're going to go ahead and take it apart. On the bottom, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen screws. And they're just standard Phillips head screws. There should be some different lengths here. The fronts are a little bit shorter. I'm going to have to use a different screwdriver here that's a kind of a kind of a narrow channel for these screws to fit into. So let's use the iFixit stuff here, which we're going to end up using anyways later. So this is where we start getting into some of the side screws are quite a bit longer. The farther you go back on this, there's just more material that you have to go through. So make sure we keep these separate, keep them organized. So that way we're not dealing with We're not dealing with a uh, situation where we have screws being put where they should not be. So basically all the screws from this point back, this little lip back are a uh, taller screw. So you just got to be aware of that. All right. So once we have that off of there, I do believe this like that. Pretty sure this guy separates. A little bit different of a spot. Slowly pull it apart, and there we go. It just clicks apart. This pad is supposed to be on top of this. So let's take a look and see what we got here. Here we have a, a battery that I'll make a note that the customer should look at replacing soon because it's quite swollen. And it is in L17M3. PG2. Yeah, it looks total. It looks totally fine. Squish, 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 squish. I, I just need to like put a knife in it and let some of the uh, air out, right? Never do that. All right, so we have our battery. We have our. This is an NVMe. It's an SSD. We have a standard hard drive here. We have our, our RAM underneath here. We have just some little adhesive on top of the actual CPU cooler. Pull that off. We have fan one. We have fan two. These are different fans. So we have this one, which is going to go like this. And we have this one that goes like this. I don't know which. So it's this one. So let's like, I don't know if you guys, can you guys hear that? Or is it being killed by the here? Well, like, this is what it actually sounds like. So that was the indicator the customer needed to bring it into me to get it replaced. So to actually replace the CPU fans on this is a little bit of a difficult, annoying road. We have to remove all of this because the CPU fan, the parts that we need to replace are under are on the bottom. So it's just going to be a little bit of work. We need to get that out and we will get that out. And while we're working on this, we're going to unplug the bloaty battery. Okay, let me set that up there. And then holding this in, we have a plethora of screws. So let's start five, six, seven, one. All right, so we'll start here. One, two, where's three? Well, I guess we're gonna just have to assume this is three. Four, five, six, seven. Now, we need to remove the screws from the fan. There's one, two, oh, not coming out. Yeah, it sounds real bad, I know. Two more, one, two, then 
we have to gently this whole thing has to come out hoping to be able to take this out there we go we got one side other side all right cool again being very careful you don't want to bend this stuff and now that was that's surprising hmm is interesting looks like there's no screws that hold this stuff together it is just press fit together let me get a good look at these guys this is the first time i've replaced fans in this specific computer uh this is a lenovo legion oh well, that's Ooh, this is gonna be it's gonna be rough usually on the bottom you'll have screws this has no screws whatsoever I wonder if I'm gonna have to grind these things out of here so I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to cut these off to get these apart yep that's it exactly so I'm just gonna shave the tops right off of these so good to know. Never, I've never had that before, but thankfully it was pretty easy. How was your walk, mom? Mother. Huh? It was fine, but it was good though. All right. All right so now this should just, boom. Now, to get this back in here. So, my assumption is they want me to use a low temperature iron to put this back in here. They're not tabs, they actually have to be cut off. Hmm. I have to figure, figure out how low a temperature I need to go to actually just melt these down just to get them shaped and held in place. That's clearly what they did. So that makes this repair actually slightly more difficult. Well, let's, yeah. Yeah, okay, master, come here. How about I put a 500C iron on your tongue? 205, maybe? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, that, that kind of does it. I think maybe 215. Done. Yeah. So we're gonna put downward pressure and then we're just gonna straight down. And do this one more time over here. There you go. And then just let's say hello. Be right up there. Yeah, you were on stream, buddy. There's a sign, but no one ever reads it. All right, I think the two, I think 215 is too high. I think I need to go, let's just go to 200 because it's, it melted part of this. And boop. Done and done. Here we go. Yeah, that's better. So that's a good that's a good temperature on that. So uh, we are pretty much good to go on this. While we have this open, we're gonna do the same thing. So it was this guy. So I, I've kind of illustrated this before. So you can. Every time this guy would turn this on, that, that's what it would do. You can see how much wobble this has. And this is the other one that we replaced. You can see how this has like almost no wobble, but it's a lot firmer. So yeah, this, this thing here, straight up dead, dead, dead. Like this is, it's vibrating violently when I do that. So that 
All right, thermal paste. We got two, at least this isn't li liquid metal like I thought it was gonna be, because this looks suspiciously like it would hold thermal paste. Yeah, it's definitely bad. There you go, there you go. Fresh thermal paste. Let's gently finagle this thing back in here. I'm not touching thermal compound. Here we go. Fan one, fan two. All right, now, screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we do our tiny boys into the fans. One, two. I don't know if I like that, them not using screws, but whatever they can do to save a buck, right? Two, plug our battery back in square. There we go. See if we have any charge left on this guy. Our button's on the side, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Turn it on. Quiet as a whisper. Beautiful. And after that, we're gonna install a power supply. And then web design. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.